This guide will show you how to get every schematic for the Protoform Synthesis mount. To start collecting these schematics, you first need to have unlocked Sopranian Understanding on the Cypher Research table. When you have, a quest will appear on the map called Finding Tally. Completing this quest chain unlocks the mount making part of Protoform Synthesis. Doing this quest also unlocks the first schematic, the Death Runner mount. The Adorn von Bata mount schematic comes from the Grateful Boon treasure. This is located up on the mountains. You can get here by flying or using Door of Shadows. To get the Grateful Boon to appear, you need to run around and pet every animal here. Doing so will make the gyro here happy and it will put down the boon. If you have already collected this before unlocking Protoform Synthesis, the schematic will be on the floor instead. The Bronze Helicid schematic is looted from the tribute of the Enlightened Elders. This is the cash you are given when you complete the weekly quest, Patterns Within Patterns. It is not a guaranteed drop, but it seems to drop fairly regularly. Most of my characters have gained this within 1-3 to three weeks. The Bronze Wing Vespoid schematic can be found inside the Gravid Repose building. Run inside and take a ride. Go up the slope and when you get to the top, look under the console and it's hiding there. The Buzz Mount schematic drops from the pulp covered relic treasures around Xerath Mortis. There are six spawn locations for these relics, but the schematic is not guaranteed to drop. To open the pulp covered relics, you need to click on them and then fight the enemies that spawn. Once you've done this, you need to click on them again and kill more enemies. Doing this a few times will eventually let you loot it. Be careful when you click on the relic as it kicks it forward. Sometimes when you kick it, it clips through an object making it unreachable. On screen are the spawn points I know of. This leads us on to the Forge Spike Flyer. This schematic appears right next to a spawn point for a pulp covered relic. It will just be sitting on the ground waiting to be picked up. Sometimes it can despawn when a pulp covered relic has appeared. If this happens, just come back a few minutes later and it should be there. The Curious Crystal Sniffer is one of the two schematics that are inside the Sepulcher Raid. This one spawns for 10 minutes after defeating Halondras. When you have defeated him, run back to the middle room and it will be sitting on the floor near one of the towers. This does seem to spawn in LFR and everyone can loot it as long as you do so before it despawns. The Darkened Bombata is located inside a cage in the desert area of Xerath Mortis. You may need to kill a couple of elites to grab it, or you can just grab it and run like a chicken like I did. The Desert Wing Hunter Mount is located on the top of a pillar just north of Pilgrim's Grace. It is possible to get to with Door of Shadows, but much easier with flight. The Genesis Crawler is found on top of a triangle arch where you first appear in Xerath Mortis. Fly to the top and look closely, you will see it lying there waiting for you to pick it up. The gold plate buffenid schematic is dropped by the accelerated buffenid enemies. These frogs spawn in two places. The island where the Sepulcher Raid entrance is, and the pool of water where Hirokun the jellyfish rare spawns. This one is look dependent, you may get it with one kill, or it may take you a lot more, so stick some music on and start squishing frogs. The Heartbond Lupin schematic drops from the more frenzied Lupin enemy that spawns in a cave near the center of Xerath Mortis. It has a 1 or 2 minute respawn timer and may take several kills to drop. This one doesn't take that long, just keep killing it and you'll get it eventually. Next is my favorite, the Ineffable Skitter amount. To get this, you need to die. Kill yourself near Firim's cave by falling or any other means. While you are a ghost, run into Firim's cave and on the left side you will see a ghost spider called Jade of Eric 2. This spider gives a little teaser into possible WoW lore and then offers you a schematic in exchange for leaving. Accept this offer and you will get the schematic. The more adapted Raptora schematic. Well, we don't talk about this one. It has a chance to drop from more sworn hoops in the north part of Xerath Mortis. The reason I don't like this one is that I have killed over 700 hooks and still have not had it drop. The drop rate isn't supposed to be this bad, but apparently I have the worst look possible. Hopefully you will have better luck than I did with this one. The Pale Regal Servid schematic is a reward that you receive for completing the achievement Cypher of the First Ones. 
This achievement will pop when you have fully upgraded the Cypher console and bought everything you can. Keep doing daily quests and world quests and eventually you will get this done. The prototype Leaper only spawns during the world quest Frogit. It is located high up on the mountain. Fortunately, you can use the frog for this world quest to get you high up if you haven't got flying yet. Get to the top of the mountain and loot the forgotten proto vault. If you have already looted this, the schematic should be lying on the ground instead. The forgotten proto vault is also one of the 27 treasures needed for the treasures of Xerath Mortis achievement. The Raptorus Swooper is located inside one of the bunkers in the desert. It is the one you go in to kill the dominated architect for part of the Finding Tally questline. You will find this schematic sitting behind the architect on a bench. The Russet Buffanid is a possible reward given to you for the Enlightened Broker Supplies box. You get given these boxes for every 10,000 rep you gain after reaching Exalted with the Enlightened. This is another one that I would passively collect as the schematic isn't guaranteed to drop from the box. The Scarlet Hellicid schematic is found on top of the Ark on the island where the world boss is. Use Door of Shadows or fly up and grab it. Serenade is found in the Sepulchre Raid. This one spawns before the first boss down in the pool of water below. Jump down and run to the northeast corner. The schematic is hidden vertically inside a chain. The Sundered Xerath Steed is inside the Morsworn Cache Treasure. This is a box that is guarded by several enemies in the desert area. Kill them or CC them to get the box. If you have already looted this treasure, the schematic will be sitting on the floor in the same place. The Terachnid Creeper is another schematic that you will need to pick up off the floor. It's in this triangle bunker on the right as you enter. If there are rocks in front of this building, you need to progress further in the main story campaign until you clear them. The Vespoid Flutterer is on the floor in the area where you have the Cosmic Energy Bar. It's half buried in sand so keep a sharp eye out for it. Kill any enemies that attack you and pick it up. The last schematic is the unsuccessful prototype Fleet Pod. To get this, you have to have progressed into the campaign far enough to use Cosmic Energy. Once you have, you must click on this hidden rune, which will unlock a new teleport. Now collect at least 60 Cosmic Energy from the enemies standing in the pools nearby. Fly into the Gavid Repose building and teleport to the interior locus. If you see symbols here, it's usually the first or second option on the list. When you teleport to the interior locus, Run past the crystal in the middle of the room and click on the one at the back of the room. From here, teleport to the Camber alcove. You will now be in a room full of sand piles. Click on the snail at the side of the room and you will turn into a smaller snail. Now you must play a mini game where you avoid the sand and try to run through the golden rings that appear. After doing this a few times, the schematic will appear on the floor and you will have the last schematic. I really hope this video helped you collect the mount you want. Let me know down in the description below which mount is your favourite, and subscribe for more guides like this. Now, if you could do me a favour, go and have an awesome day.